there! I was just making a coffee. Are you here for the Track Racer R6 Mac 3 rig review? Let's go! Before I talk about this incredible Track Racer rig, I wanted to tell you a bit more about my steam rig history for you to understand where my perspective is coming from in this video. Let me take you where it all started. This is where I used to have my first setup, in my living room. I was using a regular dining table and a regular chair and my G920 was directly placed onto it and the pedal were on the floor. We then upgraded the rig to a Place It Challenge rig. The pedals were placed in this frame area at the bottom and the steering wheel was directly placed onto this plate. It clearly isn't the sturdiest setup, however, it is a great starter setup, it has a great value, it's also incredibly comfortable, and the plus is that you can fold it and store it in a different place. You've seen my previous setup, so you know I've only experienced the lower end of the sim racing market. Hence, I can't compare my track racer to an 8020 rig because I've simply never used one. The track racer R6 Mac 3 is my first ever quality rig. This video is going to be organized in six parts. Firstly, we'll talk about the building experience, then we'll talk about the adjustment which can be made to the rig to be adjusted to you and your driving style. We will move on to the accessibility of the rig, then we'll talk about its stability, we'll then mention its look and comfort, and we will finish with the accessories which you can attach directly onto the rig. The build was simple. There are not many parts to put together and some of the pieces are already pre-built for you. It took my fiancé and I a whole afternoon and that was because I wanted the cable management to be right, especially where I have extra cables because of the tools I am using for streaming such as my free cameras. It was also because we wanted the rig to be perfect for my fiancé and I, as we will both be using it. Hence, it was more a question of finding how we wanted the adjustment to be made for the different parts of the rig rather than the building itself. And that brings me to my next section, the rig adjustments. The Track Racer R6 Mac 3 offers many adjustment points to customize at best your sim racing experience. Starting with the pedals, you can adjust them in two ways. First with the slide, which allows you to move the distance of the pedals in relation to you and the steering wheel. You can slide it backwards and forwards. Additionally, you can fix the angle of the pedal plate and there are seven different points for this adjustment to be made, corresponding to a movement of up to 25 degrees. As for the wheel, it can be adjusted in three different ways. First, the angle of the wheel mount on the main support bar can be moved to up to 56 degrees with the five different pre-drill points you see here. Then the sliders allowing you again to bring the mount forwards and backwards. And you can also adjust the wheel plate by 36 degrees. The gear shifter mount can be fixed either side of the seat mount. I picked to place mine on the left hand side since I live in the UK. It is much easier that way. As for the seat, you can tilt it back by 5 degrees. The best adjustment feature to me is the fact that I can move my seat backwards and forwards, as I am more comfortable closer to the wheels and pedals for rallying and prefer being further away for GT3 racing. It's also incredibly useful as both my fiancé and I can use it with ease and adjust the seat quickly. By the way, he is 6 foot 1, hence this rig is literally for every sizes. Next on the list is accessibility. I used to struggle to climb in and out of my place it challenge, so the track racer has made my life a lot easier. Because the rig is open on one side, most people assume that it is not sturdy enough. However, this is a misconception. Let me tell you more about the track racer R6 Mac 3 sturdiness. I love rallying, and I have the tendency while driving to move either side of the seat, and quite intensely. I know it isn't going to help my driving, but thanks to this, I can tell you that, having used the rig for almost a month now, it is really sturdy. And that's because the chassis of the rig is made of heavy-duty iron tube of 2 inches diameter or 50 mm. In this shot, I am comparing the Placid Challenge tubes against the Track Racer RS6 Mac 3 tubes to give you an idea of how much more robust it is. I was also impressed by the quality of the screws. 
I can tell from my IKEA building experience that these are two strong screws and they are really key components to the robustness of the rig. The whole cage is around 37 kilos. That corresponds to the weight of an 11 years old child and that's without the wheel and pedals added on. Also, Track Racer has improved the pedal plate rigidity compared to their previous models by adding the additional frame on the underside of the pedal plate that I'm showing you now. The RS6 Mac 3 chassis is compatible with all the major brands wheels and pedals such as Fanatec, Logitech and Thrustmaster. What better way to show you how rigid the rig is than showing you my G920 equipment and I in rally action. As you can see, it makes barely no movement to the chassis. I said barely because I have not felt movements when sim racing, but you might be able to spot a bit of a vibration and that's mainly because I am a very tense driver so I grip the wheel and edge pattern a little too strongly. In terms of comfort, the seat has plenty of padding for your bum, your back and also your head, which helps reduce the fatigue for long sessions. It's been fully approved by my cat Tony, who only chooses the finest. I love the fact that the seat is a reproduction of a real race car seat. It supports sizes from medium to extra large and is made of fiberglass, which gives it a sporty finished look. I haven't got a harness myself, but the seat has four harness slots. The black matte finish of the tubes makes the rig look sophisticated and modern. Judging by the size of the tubes, my first thought was that it was going to look huge in my small room, but to my surprise it did not and looked inviting and open. The Track Racer RS6 includes the chassis, the seat, the pedal and wheel mounts, and the mounting gear shifter. I also own a Derek Spare Designs button box, hence I needed to get the extra tablet and button box upgrade mount, as this was not included. Both my screens are mounted on the wall, so they are not actually part of the rig. However, Track Racer offered two mounting solutions for the RS6 alongside other cool accessories such as a keyboard and mouse mount or premium sim rig floor mat. You can find all these in the RS6 accessories section on the Track Racer website, which I am scrolling through as we speak. By the way, I own the premium sim rig floor mat too and it looks absolutely gorgeous with the Track Racer logo embroidered at the end, the velvety finish and the vinyl backing ensuring that the rig never moves. All in all, the Track Racer RS6 Mac 3 is amazing. It has drastically changed my sim racing experience and I would strongly recommend you to buy it if you're looking for a first time rig or if you're looking to upgrade your setup to something more serious. I have added my affiliate link in the description of the video. By purchasing Track Racer product through my affiliate link, you help to support my channel. You can also use the discount code TR5 and get 5% off on your purchase. Don't forget to give this video a like so that it can be recommended to people who it might be useful. And if you haven't already, please subscribe so you can be alerted when my videos are up and when I am streaming. Thanks for watching and see you soon! Are you here for the track wrestle review? <coughs> <coughs>